Welcome! Do the thing with battery to pink rock. Yes, I will be doing the battery to pink rock. Here it is. Here's here's my battery. So there's a few different ways to do it. I, I'll probably show you the different methods out there, but hopefully we'll end up with some nice pink crystals. That's that's the hope anyway. And it's also something that you can probably also do at home, kind of at home without it being too terrible. Still, still I will say, attention. This is, this video is for educational purposes only. Do not attempt this. Do not imitate what you see on the screen or use it to incite violence. I may have stolen that from Houston Jones. Anyway, so this safety regulation thing, I don't know, there's a lot of words. Let me open up what the procedure is that we're following, or at least an example of it. I'm gonna change it up a little bit, but basically, let's see. He has batteries, he opens them up. Inside is manganese dioxide, this is black powder, you'll see it in a bit. With the lanolin battery, it's a lot more. He then dissolves it in, uh, I think just water. And the idea of putting it in water is to get rid of the dissolved salts, you know? Just trying to get rid of the weird electrolytes that we don't need. And then after putting it in water, he dries it out on a dish, and then I assume, yeah, put it in acid. Now this is where it changes for me. I don't have oxalic acid dihydride, so instead I'm gonna be using hydrochloric acid, which should still work. He then just filtered it once he got the manganese dissolved. That leaves behind the carbon. We'll probably see some mess everywhere, which is why we have everything on some paper towels here because it's such a messy process. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> it's gonna get everywhere. And my idea for opening this up is a little bit, I don't know, it's the best thing I could come up with. It's using a hacksaw right here. I'm thinking we're just gonna cut into this. I'm just gonna... So it might be better to cut away from the terminal. If this doesn't actually turn out to be what we want it to be, I, I do have backups. I think we got it. Look at this busted up battery. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it's the weird cotton inside. Interesting. Oh, there we go. You can see the different cells there. The main ingredient we want is right behind these plastic seals. So, I'm gonna have to wedge this thing apart. Try to wedge this, just rip these things out. You do still gotta be careful opening batteries up because they do have an alkaline substance in them. So that could like spray you in the eye, for example. I've had that almost happen before. So just wear safety glasses and, and you should be good. Okay, now, now we're good, now we're good, now we're good. Check this out, check this out. Oh, that's awesome. I'm just gonna use pliers to pry it open. Alternatively, I could use the hacksaw as well. I think this should work. Now, this outside coating, oh, this, this cartridge should be made out of zinc, as far as I'm aware. So it's a bit of a soft metal. Oh, yes. Yes, it's the right battery. Look at the black shit that's in there. See that? See that black gunk right there? That is what we need. That is the manganese dioxide right there. So. I'm gonna try to open this cartridge up as much as I can. And now, I'm gonna collect this inside of another beaker. This is what I mean by like, this is so messy. I might only do two, two cells of this because otherwise this is gonna take forever, I think. Oh geez, nah. Okay, I think I'm gonna give up. I think this is, this is enough to work with. Now we have some manganese dioxide powder mixed with carbon as well as uh, some electrolyte junk that we do not need. To make it better, we gotta add some water to it. Now, I'm not gonna add much water. I'm only going to add enough just to make sure I can dissolve away some of the electrolytes. Because what I see a lot of people do online is they fill this beaker up, like really high up with water, and then they filter it through a coffee filter. And that takes, I don't know, it takes like at least half an hour or like hours. I don't wanna do that. So instead I'm gonna add just enough water to get it to mostly dissolve. And that will give me like a, a thick sort of paste. Man, it is like really goopy. This might be a problem. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good now for my amazing idea on drying this out. If I have a big fat wad of paper towels and I just pour it all onto the paper towels. Here we go. Oh, that's disgusting. Add some paper towel to it and absorb the electrolytes and water out of it. I think this might be working. I think it might be working. This is such a 
dumb way to do this. More paper towel. I'm just hydrating it and drying it with paper. I mean, yeah, the, the point of me doing that is to get rid of the salts inside of it. Because there's electrolyte salts in here and I need to get rid of that in order for me to get pure manganese. There's my, there's my manganese dioxide pancake. See how quick that was? See, see how I just skipped so many steps? I just skipped the filtering step and the drying step by just covering it and sandwiching it in paper towel. Now what was the next step? Add hydrochloric acid. I think I'm gonna try that on a small scale first. Now I'm gonna try HCl first because I wanna see what the solution looks like. So let's, let's do what the guy did. Add some manganese dioxide and we should be able to get this to react basically immediately. Here we go. Oh shit! It's actually doing something? Yes! That is chlorine. Let's add a filtering funnel thing right here and filter this liquid. And hopefully if I just add water it will filter really quickly. Yeah, look at that. What is that? That is much darker than I would have expected. That's definitely got some impurities. That is not pink. Hmm, we might need to try the sulfur dioxide method then. Okay, while that's filtering, let's set up the next thing. Here's the method I'm doing. I'm gonna be making a sulfur dioxide bubbler and he used burning sulfur. I'm not gonna use burning sulfur. He just did this because it's cheaper, but I don't care about my sodium metabisulfite. I've had it for years. I need a use for it. And I already have everything I need for it. This is literally as simple as it is. It's just a flask, a round bottom flask, which has some garbage in it still. That's okay. I'll fill that with sodium metabisulfite, fill this one with hydrochloric acid, and then the gases that's released, which is sulfur dioxide, will bubble through here and then bubble through my flask over here with the manganese dioxide. And uh, it, should be, it should be relatively good. And this one is guaranteed to work. It's just, I'm not sure how quick it will be. I haven't seen someone do it. Maybe I should purposely put on an angle just to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's go. Is there a leak? It's producing gas, but not going through. Holy shit. Oh, it was stuck with the manganate. <laughs> I just lost like half of my product. <laughs> it slashed everything. See, I don't, I don't know how. People were saying like, oh, when's it gonna explode? I'm like, it's just not gonna explode. It's not even possible. Yet it still happens. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll have a low yield. Let me just give it a little, little mix. Oh shit. It's like, it's hot. I kind of want to give it a sniff. I know, right? Terrible. Oh yeah, 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 no, that's sulfur dioxide. That's that's accurate. Yep. I think I just want to filter this and see what happens. How's that sound? It should be a pink solution. We, we should be getting close now. It's gonna be low yields because I exploded majority of it. I mean, it's better than filtering 100 milliliters. Maybe it's a good thing we exploded all of it out. <laughs> so we don't have to deal with too much. It, it, it wasn't gonna work anyway if, if I didn't explode it. But yeah, like, it's yellow. Why is it yellow? Yeah, his is kind of pinkish. We're gonna have to do a pray and hope method here. This is the hydrochloric acid solution, by the way. The other one is still sort of filtering out. It's a lot cleaner looking, but less concentrated, probably because half of it got exploded out of my fume hood. If we just boil this down, this should turn pink, which is weird. It's weird that it will turn pink when it's that orange, but I'm confident. It's not orange anymore, so it's definitely changed in color. I think it's time that we start boiling down the other solution too, just to see what it does. Is that kind of pinkish? Maybe? But maybe if I turn off the heat, or not turn off the heat, maybe if I take it off the heat. Let's take this off, and slowly, we should be able to see that precipitate. You know what's interesting is this. What happened? It was yellow. I think it might be, I think it might be pink. That looks really exciting actually. Maybe it was just an excess of sulfur dioxide that made it look yellow. The only concern is like, yeah, how much do we actually have? This is barely anything. So clear difference between the two. Very clear difference. Sulfur dioxide seems to have worked way better. I mean, the fact it's clear does tell me it's probably not super impure then. Oh, oh shit. Look at that, look what it's doing. Shit, I just reached the point of either decomposition or I don't know, something. Yeah, I was hoping that would turn more pinkish. This is just yellow. What did I do? Oh well, if this is a disappointing result, at least, at least we got a little bit of, I don't know, excitement from 
me exploding the, the liquid everywhere all over my fume hood. Dude, look at the crystals on the hot plate. Wait, what? Huh? What the fuck? You have a good point there. Accidental success? What, what was that from? Was that from the splattering yellow shit? So we just need to keep heating it up. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna work, but I, I guess we'll see. Is it actually turning pink now? It actually kind of is. I, I don't even know what this is. That's the problem. That's weird. That is super pink. Hell yeah. Let's compare the two. Manganese chloride is on the left here, and manganese sulfate, but uh, manganese sulfate is on the right. One is a lot pinker than the other. I'm happy that we've got that, we've got our crystals. Okay, so this is the manganese chloride. Yeah, so that's that. And I'm gonna compare it on the right to our manganese sulfate. Ooh, I kinda like the manganese sulfate more. That is, if it is sulfate, it might be chloride, just more pure. Yeah, it'd be better if these were like actual crystal crystals that you can see through and are clear, but yeah, we did it. If you guys ever wanna make pink crystals, <laughs> that's how to do it. All you gotta do is just completely destroy everything. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna clean all this garbage up.